Welcome to Eskimo. Uh, I'm Phil Ward, I'm the MD of Eskimo, and uh, we're here today to talk about the uh, exciting subject of balancing, uh, a, a subject that's very often discussed with our clients. Uh, we've been doing this uh, for, for, for 21 years now, and in that time, uh, probably the single biggest issue our, our clients have is making sure that all of their radiators uh, are working at their optimum, and all of them are getting uh, equally hot. The way to do that is something called balancing. And in order to describe that, I'd like to take you over to my terrible drawing of a standard heating system. Right, first of all, we're going to talk about the perfect heating system, the non-existent heating system, the system that would exist in heaven. It's, we have a flow here, which, we, which we'll show. We've described friction in, uh, in greater detail on the website. You'll also see there something that we refer to as pressure drop. We've described that phenomenon. Have a read of that, I'd advise you to, before you have a look at this, unless you already know it. So the water flows through. Each, on the flow, you have uh, the pressure drop of the, of the pipe work uh, added up in total is 0.2 of a bar. Each of these uh, identical radiators is 0.01 of a bar. So that's great. So we can, we can, count, we can uh, account for that when we size our pump. It's really easy. You just flow the water through. It's, it's just as easy to go around that one as it is around that one. So it does so naturally. No problem. And then uh, and off it goes back down the return and it goes to the boiler and it circulates all over again. Now I'm going to talk to you about a, a real heating system. The heating system that has been added on to for years. You've got, uh, you know, perhaps an old school radiator that uh, your grand gave you and it's got huge big water calories. It kind of, it takes very little power to get over the pressure drop of that. And so it's only got a pressure drop of 0.001 bar. You've then got your nice new designer radiator from wherever, and that's, uh, that's tall and skinny. And uh, it's, it has quite a high pressure drop, relatively high pressure drop. It has other things that benefit you, but I'm not going to talk about that now. Uh, we're just going to say that that has a, a pressure drop of 0 0.05. So it's got a, you could see that much, uh, 50 times higher pressure drop. This um, then has, a, we then got another one where it's somewhere in the middle, and then you've got another one from another manufacturer, and that's somewhere in the middle again. The same time, your, your pipe work doesn't go like this. It goes like this because it's been added to over the years. You've had an extension, you've had 10 different plumbers over all that time. Each one of them has done something different. They've added a bit more and they've added a pipe and they've added a radiator and so on and so on. And it goes through the, under the stairs and it goes into the floorboards and it goes behind the back of the dog's bed and it goes all over the place. So that's what really happens there. And therefore, you're, it's harder for the, for the water to flow around there so you're, you have this higher pressure drop. Now. The problem is, when you first turn this system on, that one there, which is very easy for the water to flow around, like I said, water being a very lazy thing, will take the path of least resistance. It comes along to here, it thinks I'm not going to bother with that, and it doesn't. So it doesn't bother going around that one. It doesn't mind that one too much, but it still can't be bothered to go around that as much as it can be that around that. And so this one gets hot, that one doesn't get hot at all, that one gets somewhere in the middle, and uh, that one gets a bit less. Now we come to the thing that we, we want to concentrate on, which is balancing. Now, balancing is the way we overcome this problem. Now, I'm going to take you down to look at some valves. It's very exciting. Come with me. 